Today, I'll be giving you guys the best dribble moves for all builds in NBA 2K24. These dribble moves are very effective for short and tall guards, no matter your ball handle, height, or speed with ball. Now, before we get into the dribble moves, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. But other than that, let's get right into it. If you're under 6'5", the best dribble style for you guys is Kyrie Irving. All you need is a 90 speed with ball. Now, if you guys do not have on Kyrie Irving dribble style, I'm pretty sure you guys will not get the Steve Francis speed boost animations. I think Kyrie Irving is the only dribble style where you can actually get the clean, like the, go the good, clean speed boost animations. Now, if you're 6'6 six, six and above, the best dribble style for you guys is Magic Johnson. A lot of people are starting to spam the misdirection crossover going to the paint. A lot of you guys might know what that is. But it's very OP, y'all. Y'all can't stop it. And all you need for Magic Johnson is a speed with ball with it. That's a 75. But other than Kyrie Irving and Magic Johnson, those are the best two dribble styles in the game. For a small guard, it's Kyrie Irving. And for a 6'6 and above, it's Magic Johnson. If you guys do not like Magic Johnson, you guys can always try Pro. I've been using that for a little bit, but it, it's all right. It's not, too, it's not too good, but you guys can always try Pro if you do not like Magic Johnson as well. It's another substitute that I like to use. Now for signature size ups, the best signature size up in the game is Steve Francis if you're under 6'5". I've been using Steve Francis since the game came out. The best signature size up, it gives you the best speed boost animations, especially paired up with Kyrie Irving dribble style. Your player will be dribbling quick, but if you're under 6'5 and do not like Steve Francis, you guys can always try out Trey Young. Trey Young definitely gives you the same animations, kind of, it's just a little bit more stiff. And all you need for Trey Young is a 92 ball handle, and for Steve Francis, you need a 95. So definitely for the builds that do not have a 95 ball handle, you guys could definitely try Trey Young. And if you do not like Trey Young and you're still under 6'5, you guys can go ahead and try De'Aaron Fox. On my 6'6, you guys can also use De'Aaron Fox. This is my go-to signature size up on my tall guard. You guys can also use Kobe Bryant if you're a tall guard as well, but I don't really like Kobe Bryant. I, I prefer De'Aaron Fox. For De'Aaron Fox, all you need is a 80 ball handle. And Kobe Bryant, all you need is an 88. Now for regular breakdown combos, which is basically like the rhythm dribble, all you gotta do is flick up on your right stick without holding RT or R2, whatever console you're on. And you can basically do this move. I use Isaiah Thomas on my 6'2". All you need is an 85 ball handle. Now if you're a tall guard, I highly suggest that you guys use Zach, either Zach Levine or D'Angelo Russell. And if you're a small guard as well, if you do not like Isaiah Thomas, you guys can also use Scoot Henderson. I also switch between both. Scoot Henderson, all you need is an 80 ball handle now for this i barely do this move it's basically like the rhythm dribble for you guys that know in past two k's isaiah thomas is definitely the most explosive regular breakdown combo that there is on the game and honestly this is all preference you guys could choose between either one you want you guys could use De'Aaron fox as well kobe bryant but definitely if you're a small guard you should be using isaiah thomas and if you're a tall guard you should definitely try zach levine or d'angelo russell now for your aggressive breakdown combo you guys should definitely try john wall or isaiah thomas if you're a small guard it's definitely preference, but I like John Wall more. Your aggressive breakdown combo is basically basically your rhythm dribble. All you gotta do is just hold R2 or RT and flick and flick up on your right stick, and it will give you these animations. If you're a taller guard, you guys should definitely try out Jamal Murray. Like I said previously, I don't really use rhythm dribbles like that, but if you do, you guys should definitely try out these three right here: Jamal Murray, Isaiah Thomas, or John Wall. You guys can have double bars of Gatorade. All you have to do is complete your weekly workouts, which can be done at the Gatorade facility. All you have to do is earn three stars or more on a on every gatorade workout after completing your workouts all you have to do is go buy the gatorade thirst quencher and once you buy it you will now have two gatorade bars now the escape moves is probably the main part of your dribble moves the escape move that you should be using is trey young this is probably the best escape move on the game it's very quick it's smooth to dribble out of you get the smoothest speed boost animations as well but if you do not have a 92 three-pointer and you want something that's just like it you guys should definitely try out kemba walker it's available for small and tall guards it's basically just like trey youngest is just a little bit more stiff that I, that's the best way for me to describe it and it won't create as much space as trey young would but if you want to get away from the trey young and kemba walker size up look when you when you flick right to left you guys should definitely try De'Aaron fox it's another good escape i just prefer trey young over it i think my top three would probably be trey young De'Aaron fox and then kemba walker just because kemba walker like i said is just it's a lot more stiff and you can't really like get open as much off of it. De'Aaron Fox is basically like the same thing too, but you can cancel out the moves way faster with De'Aaron Fox. 
For your combo moves, I highly suggest that you guys have on Kyrie Irving or Damian Lillard if you're a small guard. For both, all you need is a 90 ball handle. If you're a tall guard, you should have on Jason Tatum or De'Aaron Fox. Now for your combo moves, y'all, I only do this move really just to do my between the legs speed boost or if I do a between the legs behind the back. Now for your crossovers, y'all, I mainly use Giannis, Kobe, and De'Aaron Fox. I mainly alternate between the three. Now your crossover has an impact on your momentum and how fast and how smooth they look. And also when you come to court, when you flick your right stick without holding RT coming up to court, it also gives you a crossover animation. I highly suggest that you guys use either one of the three. I use De'Aaron Fox right now. And the second crossover that I be using mainly is Giannis. I mainly use my crossovers too, just to get like a little boost up the court. Now for your behind the back, no matter if you're a small guard or tall guard, I highly suggest that you guys have on either Jamal Murray or James Harden. These are honestly the two best behind the backs in the game. I use Jamal Murray just because it has a more of an effective animation to it. James Harden is also an effective behind the back as well, but Jamal Murray is faster. To do this move is basically just hold your right trigger and flick your right stick diagonal down and you'll be able to do the behind the back. This behind the back is very glitchy. It literally shoves your opponent right off of you and you can just shoot right out of it. Now for your spin, y'all, I don't really do this move a lot, but I have on I have on John Morant. I haven't changed it since the game came out, but just looking at the animations, it definitely looks like the same behind the backs that people used to use in other 2Ks, but if there's definitely any other behind the backs that you guys may use, just drop them down below in the comments. Now for your hesitation, no matter your height, you guys can all get John Wall hesitation. This hesitation probably creates the most space on the game. I know in previous 2Ks, people used to use Lucas step back to go off the spin back, but this year, I don't see a lot of people really doing that move. Now, the only thing with John Wall is that it definitely will create a lot of space and it definitely will throw you out of bounds if you definitely don't know how to like control it. So definitely just beware when you use this move. It's honestly the quickest hesitation in the game, especially when you do a same side speed boost. Now, no matter your height, you guys can all get John Wall step back. This is the best step back in the game. I use this move basically just to do this, the pullback animation, which you guys can do just by holding R2 or RT and just flicking down on your right stick. It will give you a pullback animation. Other than John Wall, you guys can also use Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry is also a good step back. I think Stephen Curry's package just has a different snatch back, I believe, like the between the leg snatch back than John Wall. Now, if you guys did not know, you guys should have on elite motion style if you guys want to dribble faster or move faster in general. It is available to anybody that's under 6'10". Now, your motion style has to do with the way you play defense, the way that you run, the way that you dribble. It has a main effect on everything that you have to do with the ball or without the ball. And elite is preferred to be the, the go-to for everybody. So, if you guys have not already put on elite motion style, you guys should definitely put it on now that you guys have the best dribble moves you guys will need the best jump shot as well so click the video on the screen right now and go check it out